Welcome to our lecture online and here's our next example of how to take a first order differential equation that doesn't appear like we can solve through the separation of variable method by making a simple substitution we should be able to do it anyway so we look at that and go okay what do we do here what can we do to make that separable we have an x square here we have an x square we have an x times y and a y square so what if we divide both sides of the equation by how about an x square? Let's try that. So we divide the left side by x squared. We divide the right side by x squared. Here we go and see what happens. So the left side then becomes y prime is equal to, that goes into there one time. Here we have x divided by x squared, so that's minus y over x. And here we have plus y squared over x squared. And notice, here we have a y over x, and here we have a y squared over x squared. It looks like the right substitution would be to say that u equals y over x, which means that y is therefore equal to u times x, or y prime, which is equal to dy dx, then can be written as the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, which is du dx, or we could write it as u plus x times u prime. And if we plug that back in here, let's see what we get. So the left side becomes uh, u plus x times u prime is equal to 1 minus y over x is u plus y squared over x squared becomes u squared. And now we have a situation where we can indeed separate the variables. It may take a little bit of work, but let's see what happens. If we take this u and bring it to the other side, now we have x times u prime would be du dx is equal to 1 minus u added to a minus u, but when you cross the equal sign, it becomes a minus u, so that's minus 2u plus u squared. Now we can separate the variables by saying du divided by 1 minus 2u minus u squared is equal to, this becomes dx divided by x. So now we're ready to integrate, but maybe not quite, because how do we integrate something that has this in the denominator, but then you realize, hey, this is actually... Uh, factorable, we can write this as du divided by 1 minus u quantity squared is equal to dx over x. And then when we write it like this, 1 minus u to the minus second power du is equal to dx divided by x. Now we have it in a situation where we can integrate both sides of the equation. We can integrate the left and the right side. So when we integrate this, notice that the differential of this is a minus du. We have a positive du, which means we need to add a minus there. And let me put the du over here so we can see what we're going to do. So the proper differential here is that we need a minus du. So I'm going to multiply that by minus and multiply the by minus again to compensate for that. So that's where we get this minus from. Okay. So now when we integrate, this becomes minus 1 times 1 minus u to the minus 1 power, because we add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, plus a constant of integration, but we'll keep that for the right side, and this on the right side becomes the natural log of x, plus a constant of integration, let's just call it c1 to be safe. Now we have a minus 1 times a minus 1, that cancels out, and a, and a 1 minus u to the minus 1 becomes 1 over 1 minus u, so let's go ahead and simplify that over here. So this becomes 1 over 1 minus u, because 2 to the minus 1 is the same as 1 over 1 minus 1 to the 1. The minus 1s cancel, and on the left side we have the natural log of x plus a constant of integration. Okay, now I think we're ready to substitute back in for u. So instead of u, let's write y over x. So we get 1 divided by 1 minus y over x is equal to the natural log of x plus a constant of integration. I'll just still call it c sub 1 just in case. Okay, here we need the common denominator. So this is 1 over x minus y divided by x is equal to the natural log of x plus c1. All right, let's see here. Hmm. I'm going to write this as x divided by x minus y is equal to the natural log of x 
plus C1. So here it just becomes an algebraic exercise, but we'll keep working at it. Uh, let's see, the next thing I could do is move this over there, move that down here. So we have x divided by the natural log of x plus, uh, we'll just call the constant negation because I don't think it's going to change anymore, is equal to, bring this to the other side, this is x minus y. And finally, bring the minus y to the left side, bring this to the right side, so we can write that y is equal to x minus x divided by the natural log of x plus a constant of integration. And there we have the final solution. Again, we have a situation that is not, um, that we cannot separate the variables for, so we cannot find the solution until we make the substitution u equals y over x. But before we do that, we recognize to get in the right format, we need to divide both sides of the equation by x squared, so we have the y over x and the y squared over x squared. So it's usually a trial and error kind of thing, but when you see it, it becomes a lot easier to work the problem. And that's how we do it.